<sighs> Let's see here. All right. Um, first thing, uh, the stream recording will be archived on Retrocast 2. And then um, also, I, I forgot to, I said it in the chat, I forgot to turn low latency on. So um, chat might be kind of laggy. <laughs> so I apologize for that. It's actually, it's actually kind of annoying, but um, I'll try to get that next time. <clears throat> so if there's a, you know, if you, if you type something and it takes a while for it to pop up for me, uh, I apologize. That's my bad. All right, let's get started here. <clears throat> if anyone uh, has anything to say, let me know. <coughs> Considering buying an MR2. <laughs> They're, uh, try to get a nice one if you can. <laughs> they can be a little expensive, though. Are there any in your area? Because I know they're kind of, they can be kind of hard to find. Let's see here. Hoping to get this video done um, tonight or tomorrow. Well, probably not tonight, but tomorrow, and then it'll be up probably uh, later this week. Was say Tuesday? Two MR2s. Yeah, man, definitely. Uh, I don't know how much you know about cars, but definitely uh, be prepared to, <laughs> to do some work if you've been watching this series. <laughs> then you know. But I mean, you can you can find a nice running one that's in like fine shape. But it's just they're they're a little harder, you know. It's just kind of when you're buying a car that's old, you know, you're always taking a little risk. Oh man, I hope hopefully the chat's not too laggy. Oh, or my computer. Okay, are we back? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Got got a little laggy there, but I had to fix something with the Wi-Fi. I think we should be good though. All right, let's see here. video um I don't know if you guys follow my Instagram but this video is gonna be kind of a, a weird one <laughs> I don't know if you're really uh, just seeing these clips really know what's happening here <laughs> um, but there's been a bit of a plot twist in the MR2 saga <laughs> I, uh, I guess if there's, uh, maybe I'll talk about it I, I guess I, I already talked about it on my Instagram, so it's not like it's hidden information, but maybe I'll talk about it in a bit. The car Pacific Blue. I don't know what what color they call it. I think it's I think it's called metallic blue or something, but um, it could be a Pacific Blue. I don't know exactly what the like official name of the color is. 
I actually, my original MR2, I wanted to be this color, but, um, um, but my Fiat Spider is the same color, so that's why I wanted a, a red MR2. Yeah, this will be kind of a, I don't know, this will be kind of like a very casual, very chill stream today, <laughs> just because we don't, I don't know, I'm just kind of editing the video, getting it ready for tomorrow. Wait a minute. Yeah. I think I'll, um, cause I'm hoping to get all the color grading done tonight, which I'm doing right now, and then tomorrow I'll uh put the audio in and then we'll get the video out um probably hopefully the next day we'll see though let me see here i need <sighs> all right What are you guys up to right now? Anything interesting happening? <laughs> I'll do the... <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be worth attempting to daily a uh, Lancia. We actually have a couple Lancias, but um, well, I I haven't tried daily driving one. What what one are you talking about? I guess it probably depends. Are you talking like a Stratus, a Stratos, or uh, like a Lancia Beta or something? What? <laughs> probably probably depends. I'd overall probably say no though. 81 stack. Let me look that up real fast. Zagato? Oh. Oh boy. I guess it really depends on the condition of it, man. <laughs> I mean, it probably isn't, um, probably isn't any worse than my Fiat Spider, honestly. You could probably do it. I mean, I feel like me delivering pizzas in my Fiat Spider kind of um, is proof anyone can do anything. <laughs> but I think really it's just, uh, you just gotta be ready, man, for when something breaks. Unless yours is already like rebuilt and everything, but. You just happen to have one of those or are you looking to buy one? Looking to buy one. How are, how common are these? Cause I, I honestly haven't. I mean, Lancias in general are pretty pretty rare. Cause we we have a couple Lancias. We have a um. Oh, what is it? Lancia Beta, and then which runs fine, as far as I know. We have a Lancia Beta and a Lancia. What is it? Scorpion, but that the Scorpion's a total project car. No, it's that one's like a it's like a it's like a bigger MR2 <laughs> like a Lancia MR2 it's like a mid-engine um, Lancia maybe not quite like an MR2 it doesn't really look like one but it, but it is mid-engine <sighs> replacing your Impreza. Somehow I feel like the Lancia is going to be worse to daily drive than the Impreza. <laughs> but I mean, I don't, I don't know. 
I haven't tried to drive either one, so I can't say for sure, but I feel like, uh, I feel like you won't be impressed. <laughs> Yeah, people always ask me about, um, you know, oh, I'm looking to buy like a Fiat Spider or an MR2 or, you know, another another old car. And they're like, oh, do you think I can like daily drive this thing? And I, I always feel weird. Um, I always feel weird giving advice on that kind of stuff, answering that question, because it's very uh, there's so many factors in play. It's really like how you how are you going to how do I even answer that? You know, what I mean, like. Because one, like, do you know how to fix a car? Like, do you know how to do maintenance and everything? And then two, like, can you even afford <laughs> to, to buy parts? And then, like, do you have anyone that could help you? It could, you know, are you going to buy, like, an actually, like, nice one? Or are you going to buy, like, a project one, you know? So I, it's always it's always very difficult to answer, <laughs> answer that question. Because I, I get asked it a lot, you know, like, can I drive this car daily? And it's like... Like, you could, you know, but there's, I feel like the average person, you know, it's like, you probably, you probably should consider a few things first. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm a little on the freaking crazy side <laughs> driving the cars I drive, but, you know, like, I mean, the MR2 freaking broke down on my, on my way over to Darrington, so I, I was like, you know. I feel I was fine because I know what to do in that kind of case scenario but I feel like you know the average person would probably not you think I'd like the show Rust Valley let me look it up maybe I'll give it a watch we uh just finished um oh yeah I actually have heard of this I haven't seen it but I have heard of this maybe we'll give it a watch actually we um recently finished uh we finished like five, probably more than five, <laughs> at least five seasons of 90 Day Fiance. So we're looking, you know, we've run out of 90 Day Fiance content. So we're looking to <laughs> find something else to watch now. It's a nice one. And I fixed 90% of the issues I had with the Subaru. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, that's good to hear. We got a, um, I guess I can just talk about it because, you know, it's like there's freaking seven people watching. It's whatever. So we got a, um, well, not we, my dad bought a, um, his own MR2 because <laughs> he liked, he liked driving mine so much. He drove it like, you know, a couple of times, um, to take it to the shop for me and, uh, he liked it so much he bought his own, <laughs> and his is way nicer than mine. It's really only the interior is kind of kind of gross. You see, like the steering wheel is all painted, but other than that, the body is perfectly straight. It's got a little rust on the bumper. You can kind of see there, but overall, it's great. It it drives amazing. <laughs> it drives way better than mine. <laughs> but um, yeah, he just kind of one up to me. But the uh, big plus was. It came with a whole extra car worth of parts, so we have like literally, like look at this. We have literally um, every plastic trim piece. Uh, we got like the gauge clusters, extra seats, um, the whole dash. We have every single body panel. Um, the only problem with the body panels, honestly, because this is perfect, because then the body panels, in theory, I could paint them and then just pop them on my car, you know, as I finish them because they're already off. But the problem with the body panels is, um, again, his car that he bought is a Mark 1A, so it's the earlier version. So the panels are slightly different. So I can't I can't just simply, you know, transfer them over, which kind of sucks. But it even came with extra doors, bumpers, came with like literally everything, like including the big thing is... Um, it came with a spare engine. So hoping to rebuild that soon. <laughs> you also have an AW11? 
MR2s are very sick. I agree with that statement. <laughs> I don't think there's not any, any argument with that one. Hopefully yours is a little nicer than mine. <laughs> Hopefully yours is more like my dad's than mine. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, it came with this extra engine, so I'm hoping um, to rebuild it. Um, my main thing is I'm trying to decide um, I'm trying to decide how I want to go about the rebuild because um, how much did he get the bundle for? Dude, this is the really, again, you're going to get all these details in the video. Like this is, this, this, this editing session is honestly kind of a spoiler for the actual video to come out, but again, it's, it's kind of whatever, you know, there's only a few people watching, but uh, it's honestly really embarrassing. <laughs> Because so I spent 3000 to get my car, which was like a fair deal. But my dad, um, what my dad does is he, this is, this is like really typical for him for like any car he buys. Cause you know, we have, we have a ton of cars, you know, but my dad, like, he doesn't just like throw money at cars. Like he doesn't, he doesn't just like buy whatever he wants, you know, he's, he's extremely patient and he'll, he'll just, he checks listings every single day for like months on end and he knows like you know what's like a good deal and what's like an average deal and what's a bad deal and and he just sits there and waits and waits and waits and this mr2 came up with you know it's in great condition it runs drives perfect it has no dents it comes with a whole extra parts car worth of parts and he got it for two thousand nine hundred dollars a hundred dollars less than my car <laughs> so it's really you know kind of a slap in the face but you know what can you do i mean you know what what can you really do i wasn't i i didn't know this was gonna happen so <laughs> but anyways complete steal of a car i mean geez but you know i'm I'm mildly jealous, of course, but but I'm still overall happy I have my car because this one is a it's a Mark One A, and that mine's a Mark One B, so it's the later version. Um, so you know I'm I am happy I got my car instead because if if I got this one I think I would always been a little disappointed. I mean you know it's a steal, but I I do prefer the later MR twos because they they kind of have like they they have like the bigger like body kit almost like the side skirts um and the bumpers are a little more like exaggerated and then the side vents too is is uh different um they just overall look a little more aggressive plus i um i wanted a red one or a white one because i originally wanted this color but um my fiat spider is the same color already so I, that's why i wanted like a red or white one so so you know like obviously it's a steal but like it's not what i'd consider like my perfect mr2 anyways but it is a steal yeah no the price does sound too good to be true but i it's it's real like i saw the listing because <laughs> i i still check you know the listings for these and i saw the listing myself before he bought it and you know it was no, it's, it's perfect. I mean, even if something on the car broke, we freaking have a whole extra set of literally every part to replace it. So it's, you know, it's, and it drives, it drives better than my car. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like all there. It's a great car. Like, yeah, it, it really is. That's just, I don't know, dude. I don't know. My dad just always has like the greatest luck when it comes to buying cars. Like he's like a mass, he's mastered the art of buying cars. It's just patience, <laughs> patience and like instantly and like constant checking, knowing, knowing values and just like jumping on, uh, on a deal when it pops up. That's what he does. Yeah, it's crazy. But anyways, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do about this engine though, because, uh, I want to, um, I mean, I've talked about it before. I want to rebuild an engine, and now we have one. But my only problem is uh, rebuilding an engine is kind of expensive, <laughs> especially because you don't really know what to, how much it's going to cost until you take it all apart. So I'm trying to decide, like, um, I'm trying to decide, do I... Oh, wait, 
this is the wrong one. I'm trying to decide, do I save up until I have a ton of money to rebuild it or what? Cause I, I don't really, or do I just like start taking it apart now? Cause the thing is like the MR2 has like higher priority things. I didn't expect to get an engine this quickly. You know what I mean? Like I, I mentioned I wanted a spare engine, but I didn't expect to get one like the very next, you know, week. <laughs> so, um, so now I've got to decide because the MR2 has like higher priority things that like requires my money. Um, so I got to figure out when am I going to rebuild this thing? Do I just start now or do I wait till later? What's up, Larry? Glad to see you in chat. Again, um, I apologize if uh, chat is a little uh, delayed today. Um, when I set up the stream, I, I forgot to change it to low latency. So there's kind of like, there's going to be a big delay between when you guys send stuff and when I, when you hear me reply to it. But yeah, I kind of messed that up, but what can you do? Oh, that flicker, dang it. What have you been up to, Larry? Anything, anything cool happened in your life, man? <laughs> you remember seeing me wear a Beaverton sweatshirt? I don't think, I don't think that's, I, I don't have a Beaverton sweatshirt. I'm, I'm based out of um, Washington. Uh, right now I live in Bellingham. I'm going to school up here, but, uh, my parents live in Kirkland and then our garage is in Darrington. So it's all Washington state, but it's like a couple different places. I do have a family. I do have family that lives in Beaverton though, but I was not wearing a Beaverton sweatshirt. <laughs> I don't think I own one, but I, I do, uh, I have been to Beaverton plenty of times. Alrighty. Oh, man, that engine, man. So dirty. It's a seven rib though, I think, yeah. Also, if, uh, anyone in chat is an expert on um, Toyota transmissions, let me know, cause I wanna, I need help identifying this transmission. If it's a C50 or a C52. I don't know how how to tell. I I know there's a way to tell, but I haven't looked up uh, exactly how to figure it out yet. So if anyone knows the difference between them, let me know, please. Where where are you? Where are you from, D? Washington is a nice place. It's it's been really rainy lately. <laughs> it's you know. That's kind of the stereotype is it's always rainy and it, it is rainy. It, it's not even, I feel like it's not always rainy, but when it is the rain season, it, it's raining hard and that's kind of what we're going through right now, which really sucks because um, anytime I drive back and forth between Bellingham and Darrington, Bellingham where I live and Darrington where the garage is, that's like an hour and a half drive each way. So it's like, I'm just like driving in like dumping rain in the MR2 and I feel like I'm gonna get I'm just gonna get flung off the off the freeway off the back roads but it's uh it is very exhilarating to drive <laughs> through but <laughs> when you're listening to the Eurobeat but it's I feel like I'm gonna die <laughs> in that car I'm missing a stud here well I mean I'm probably needing these studs anyways Arizona. Okay. I don't know that I've ever been to Arizona. No, I think closest is uh, Vegas. I mean, that's not even in Arizona, but it's the closest I've been down there. 
If you aren't already in some of the Facebook MR2 groups, such as MR2 Mark 1 Club, AW11s only, and AW11 Idea Dump, I highly suggest it. They could easily identify that transmission. Yeah, maybe I will. Here, I'm going to all screenshot that so I remember. But, um, yeah, no, I'm, uh, yeah, I just, I just follow the, like, MR2, uh, Reddit, but that's kind of, like, split between, you know, all the generations. It's not just AW11. I kind of wish there was a dedicated AW11 one. There, there is, but it's kind of, like, nobody uses it, so. Yeah, it's more, um, it's not even the, I mean, I, I've never owned a car with airbags. <laughs> this is actually, 89 is the newest car I've ever owned. <laughs> Seven, you know, my cars have been 79, 86, and now 89. So we're, we're progressing through time. <laughs> but, um, that's not even really, it. it's just the MR2 specifically is such a, t a light, lightweight tiny car that you know has very very touchy handling you know like any flick of the wheel or like anything um it's all very sensitive so that's that's more what i'm talking about it just kind of feels like you know anything you do really has that very the car will react very uh sporadically i guess Oh, these aren't too bright. <sighs> yeah, no, I'll I'll check it out. Uh, Mo Mosher Mosher ninety one Bravo. <laughs> I'll check it out when I get a chance. We got a new one of these things, a new uh, dash center piece, which is perfect because uh, mine's mine's cracked right here. I was gonna, I still think I might um do, I still might try to. I'm gonna replace mine with this one because it's you know obviously not cracked, but I still might do um. I still might try to repair mine just for video's sake because obviously it's not like these things are getting harder and harder to find. You know, I, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have a broken one so be kind of worth repairing and then I need this thing too because mine's broken as well but so it's all it all worked out Mosher, do you have you have a MR2? I'm assuming then. AW11. What's up, Minty Gamer? How you doing? <laughs> MG MG uh, profile picture. Do you do you have an MG? Or are you a fan? A fan of MGs. We got we got a couple MGs in our collection. They're actually um it's I, so I I grew up driving the Fiat Spider and then my brother grew up driving an MGB. Um I will say I I've driven both. Obviously the, I've driven the Spider more, but I definitely prefer the Spider. I feel like the MG MGs just feel like, they just feel sketchy, man. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, you know, the Fiat Spider is not that much safer, but that, at least his just felt like it was going to fall apart, like, all the time. It, it, like, there's so much more rattle, and everything just feels so, like, loose. The Fiat Spider felt a lot more, like, well put together, but, again, that probably is more just, like, 
That's probably not like every MG, that's probably more just his. It's just kind of in my Fiat Spider, you know. You have an 86 getting K swap. Dang, dude. Where are you based out of? Are you in Oregon? What it, what's the horsepower on a K-Swap? I hear people doing it all the time, but I don't actually know much about, about it. If you're wondering uh, why it doesn't look like I'm doing anything, it's because I'm like, or like, you're wondering like wh where the color is all coming from. Uh, it's because I'm like, I literally just am like copy and pasting. That's when this pops up, I'm like pasting the, uh, the color grade. And then like if I need to, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go into the actual settings and then I'll like edit it, you know, like if I need to, but I don't, I don't like, individually color grade every clip because it'd take forever so I, I like copy and paste it just because most of them are the same eugene oregon okay swap is yeah yeah i know i know it's from a honda but i didn't know oh i didn't know it's from a cre i see so it's 160 but it's for you do it for the boost okay where is eugene how do you spell eugene oregon isn't that like more uh, west or east? Oh no, it's not. Oh wait. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is. I was right. Oh no, no, it's not. <laughs> it's more just south. Right? Yeah, it's south. Past Portland. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah, again, I have family in uh, Beaverton, and then uh, my grandparents used to live over in um, eastern Oregon, but they just recently moved up here to um, live in the same neighborhood as my dad, because they're getting old. Has a sick skate park. Uh, love your eagerness to do DIY things in the MRT series. Yeah, that's the name of the game, man. It's just because, uh, you know, it's a budget build. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have any money, <laughs> so we're doing everything ourselves. And um, but also, it's just kind of fun, you know. I feel like it's uh, it's just uh, it's more rewarding that way, and that way you can make it kind of your own rather than just either taking it to a shop or just buying, you know, random stuff and slapping it in. But yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just fun. I kind of just want to. I don't know. I think there's just this misconception with a lot of car builds that it's all about, you know, dumping tons of money into it. But it, you know, obviously it, this car has cost me a lot of money. I don't want to deny that. <laughs> yeah, it's cost me a lot of money, but you know, it's not, you can, you can save a lot of money if you just do it yourself. You know, it's kind of, it's what I've been doing. Good morning all. Good morning to you. It's actually, yeah, sorry if this is kind of a weird, I usually do my streams earlier, but I, I literally just filmed all this footage today, so I just got back from Darrington, and I'm editing it now, so that, that's why it's kind of a late stream, it's just because I, I literally just finished filming all this stuff. So. Yeah, I thought, yeah. Okay, yeah, I knew K... Yeah, when you just said... Uh, you got the K motor from a CRV that I was just surprised there, but cause I knew it was in like their, you know, more like sporty stuff, but, uh, I didn't know it was also in the CRV. Well, what do you plan on doing with your, uh, your, uh, 4AG <laughs> when you're done? You, uh, 
want to part it out to me, let me know. <laughs> I will, I will, um, pick it up myself. <laughs> I will drive the uh, MR2 down there with a the trailer and pick it up. Am I talking loud enough? Hopefully I am. What, am, what is my ethnicity? Um, I actually, uh, Honestly, I'm kind of surprised I don't get asked that more often. I'm, I'm, oh no. Do we, did we drop? Are we still going? No, I think we're, I think we're good. I'm, uh, I'm half Filipino and then half white. But I feel, I look very white though, so. I, I think most people can tell them something, but they don't really know what. That's why, uh, if you look like, dig, deep in my old videos there's a Philippines vlog that I didn't finish and then there's um and then there's a Musibi video <laughs> I guess that's not Filipino but still kind of yeah I'm half Filipino I actually really wish I could go back to the Philippines and do another video series about it because it's uh but do it like right this time because when I filmed that Philippines uh, travel vlog. We went to go visit my family there, but uh, it, I was still very new to filming in general, so like I really didn't do a good job. So that's why the series never finished, just just because I kind of I didn't feel like I really captured enough good stuff. But like like it was a very very exciting trip. Like it it would have been so perfect to film, but I just was not. I wasn't there. Like. My skill level wasn't there to like make it actually uh, worthwhile, but it was very, um, it was a very fun trip. So I wish I could do it again, but Philippines is kind of a pain in the butt to get to. It's so far away. <laughs> okay, um, let me catch up on chat. Do I speak Tagalog? Uh, no, I don't. My my mom does, and then you know the rest of my family does, but I don't. Because my, my mom and all her siblings are from the Philippines. They moved here uh, back in, like, what would it be, like, the 80s? I'm, I'm pretty close with all uh, my Filipino family. But I don't, I don't speak it. I speak, uh, I learned Japanese at one point <laughs> in high school. <laughs> That's it. You've got tons of parts and interior and exterior. The only problem is yours is an 86, which is, again, this one's here is an 85. Because again, we have all these freaking parts, <laughs> you know what I mean? But the problem is I can use a lot of it, but the thing is it's from an 80, it's from a Mark 1A versus mine's the Mark 1B. So it's, um, you know, the parts are a little different. But if you, if you're parting out the engine though, let me know, because I, I could probably use a lot of that. Honestly, if you want, if you want to get in contact, just you can hit me up on Instagram or something. I'd be down to possibly make a trip down there and pick up parts as I need them. Again, I don't really know, because I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do to this engine, when I'm going to get around to it, and I don't really know what it needs. It looks like it's missing the, uh, well, actually it does have the exhaust manifold, but, um, it's missing some things just by looking at it, but I don't really know yet. What yet? But yeah, I'm going to be parting out because again, like we have all these parts now. So my dad said I can sell some of them, anything I don't need, and then um, get like, you know, use that money towards the, the MR2. But, uh, you know, that'll be a slow process just because there's so much stuff in it's kind of hard to sell car parts because, you know, it's all very specific, you know. All right, let me catch up on chat here. Half Vietnamese and Native American as well. Yeah, that is very interesting. I've never, I don't think I've heard of that one before. Ryan, yours is an 86. You got the front side blinker lights? Oh, let me see. Not the, um, you're not talking like... Let me see here. You're not talking like on the bumper, right? You're talking about like the one like here. 
let me know. Because <laughs> I, I actually haven't seen these ones in our stash, so I don't think we actually have them. Oh, it's all good if you're late. Honestly, it's just kind of a chill stream. Again, uh, if you are late though, uh, chat's a little delayed because I, I forgot to set the, you can set like the latency of like, there's like a delay, you know, between when I say it and when you guys hear it. So there's, there's, I forgot to set it to like low latency. So there's going to be kind of a delay between when you guys chat and when I actually reply to it. So I, I do apologize for that. But <laughs> anyways. <laughs> When's the MR2 meet in Portland? <laughs> let, me, let me know when it is. I actually, if my car is reliable at that point, I'd, I'd actually come to the MR2 meet. Because I, I, my, my ideal situation is once the MR2 is in like reliable shape, I want to actually like road trip with it and like go to a bunch of meets and like meet fans and like show off the car. But the MR2 is not in a reliable state right now. But when it is, I think that'd be really fun to do. Okay, let me let me catch up on chat. <laughs> but yeah, let me know when that meet is. So you're taking out the whole 4AG with the five speed. Won't have the wiring harness as it's being used. Okay, yeah, I mean I have the wire I have my wiring harness and then we still have this freaking where is it? We have a wiring harness somewhere in here. Where'd it go? There, we have we have one. So, <laughs> is yours? Do you know is yours the three rib or the seven rib? Because that's that's the main thing. Because mine, this spare engine here is a seven rib, but um, I think some parts between the seven and three ribs are interchangeable. But let me know if you know. Um, orange ones, the side ones. Yeah, I don't. I don't know, Ryan. I haven't, I haven't seen them. I'm honestly kind of curious if my dad has another box I haven't seen yet because we have like a whole car worth of parts, like literally everything from body panels, interior, to engine, to transmission, to even like exhaust and like motor mounts. But I feel like the only thing we don't have are suspension and brakes. So I, I wonder if there's another box that I haven't seen yet. But... Um, but as for like that light, oh, actually no, we do we do have them because they're on the freaking. What am I talking about? We do have them. They're on. Uh, they're just they're right there. <laughs> it's on this fender. So yeah, we do have it. <laughs> it's right there, right? Because it does. It's like glued on, isn't it? It doesn't come off. So yeah, we we do have it, Ryan. Um, holy. That's the first donation I've gotten streaming. Uh. Let me catch up on chat and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll thank you properly for that. <laughs> I'm getting a little behind now. <laughs> uh, one, one moment. So I don't want to, I don't want to keep getting sidetracked. This is Will. Oh, oh, Will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for catching the stream, man. Yeah, Will, uh. We've been we've been chatting a lot about MR2s lately. He's been talking me about talking me through the the rebuild. Um, Ryan, you're down in you're in Washington, right? You're the, you're the one that's down over uh, like east of Seattle, right? Yeah, Mosher, let me know when you get that engine out because I would be because uh, the problem with this engine is it seized um so i'm a little i'm a little sketched out obviously like my dad's fixed seized engines before so you really again you just don't really know until you take the engine apart so you don't really know is it savable or is it not i mean anything's savable but there's a certain point where it's like is it worth being saved so you know it could be seized from either heavy heavy damage or it could be seized just because it's been sitting outside of the car for so long you know so so that's the thing is like i just don't know um, but yeah, no, uh, Will, thank you very much. Stock up on ramen and tofu. <laughs> yeah, no, I actually, it's funny, um, um, it's funny, I, uh, I do actually make tofu <laughs> all the time. 
I've been eating a little more ramen since I bought the MR2 as well. But thank you very much. That's a, that's a very generous donation. This, that's the first donation I've received uh, on stream. It's pretty funny. You know, you know though, uh, if I'm being real, the $50 is just going to go towards the MR2. So <laughs> I'll, I'll starve a little more if it means the MR2 <laughs> gets a little more money. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. I will have to go against your ramen uh, suggestion, though. And, uh, you know, MR2, uh, what does it need right now? It needs, um, I'm kind of, I'm actually trying to, uh, I'm debating what I want to do next. Because, again, I have this spare engine. But my main thing is I, uh, obviously I don't, I can't afford to rebuild it right now. <laughs> uh... But I'm tempted to take it apart, but I don't, I don't know yet. Just because the MR2, right now it burns a ton of oil. Um, but I don't know if it's the piston rings, which would mean, you know, I need a full rebuild. Or if it's um, just the valve stem seals, which would mean you have to do... You can leave the engine in the car, but you're basically taking the whole head apart, and then you put the head back on. Um, if that's the case, you know, that's not that bad. But if it's the piston rings, then, like you do need to rebuild the engine. So that's why I'm like, this rebuild is going to happen. I'm just trying to decide, like, do I want to... It's not, like, super high priority, because, yeah, my, my engine runs fine, but it does burn, like, a quart of oil per fill-up. So, you know, that's pretty... That's, like, that's really bad. So, I don't know. Because, like, a rebuild, I don't know. You know, me and Will have been talking about it, because he's been... He's, he's done a rebuild before, but... You know, it could cost anywhere from like, I don't know, a few hundred to, you know, almost 2,000. So it's like, what am I going to do? I don't, I don't really know yet. Oh, whoops. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a compression test. We just haven't had a chance because I, I want to do the compression test because I'm going to buy, um, new spark plugs. Oh, maybe that's what the 50 bucks will go towards. I, I'm, I need to buy new spark plugs, ignition wires, and, uh, you know, distributor cap, that's all like maintenance stuff. So I'm gonna buy that and then when we replace the spark plugs, I'm gonna do the um the uh compression test while we're at it. And then that will, you know, determine do I have to do a valve stem seal job or do I have to just go ahead and rebuild the engine. But uh um yeah, I don't know. Either way it's I don't know. I really want to rebuild that engine, but again, I don't have $2,000 laying around. Worst case scenario, you know what I mean? I've thought about doing like a Kickstarter, but I don't think I'm <laughs> big enough to raise that kind of money yet. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, there's still time though. Because, you know, that MR2 still needs like other stuff before an engine rebuild. Like I need to do all the suspension and I want to get the dent and all the like Oh, they're just like crap taken care of. Okay, let me catch up on chat. I, it's always funny because uh, these editing streams, they start off with me making good progress editing and then it just turns into me just talking <laughs> to chat the whole time, which is fine because I love talking to chat, but it's just funny that I, I end up uh, not actually getting that much done <laughs> as the stream goes on. Here, let me, let me catch up a little. Where were we? So it's, okay, so there's the radiator. Okay, where's the radiator? Oh, wait, uh, Will, do you know, are you like, a, do you know much about the Toyota transmissions? Do you know how to tell if it's a C50 or a C52 transmission? Because I'm also considering at some point rebuilding this transmission, but I, I only want to do if it's a C52, but I don't know. If you know how to tell, let me know. Um, again, sorry about the delay on the chat, so, but, uh, Anyways, let me catch up on chat now. Uh, years of running when parked, but definitely needs coolant passages flushed and some gaskets refreshed. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I'm really surprised my coolant was actually fine when I, when I flushed mine. Well, you know, when I drained it, I didn't have to flush it because it was actually pretty good. I was, I was, because I've seen so many videos of people doing it. Um... C.A.D., thanks for coming in, but, um, but, uh, what was I saying? 
Yeah, I've seen so many videos of people flushing the coolant, and it's always disgusting, but mine would look fine. Yeah, I know a lot of Toyos have the C52, but I need to know, because the MR2 came with C50s and C52s, and the C52s are the better ones, and the 50s uh, aren't as good, so that's why I want to only rebuild, you know, I don't need to rebuild the transmission anytime soon, but I need to decide, is it worth keeping this transmission or not, you know? Does it have an intake side starter location available? Hmm... Can we tell from this? I don't know. C52 does. C50 doesn't. Okay, well, I'll look at that. I don't know what that looks like from these photos, but I'll have to, I'll have to inspect it more. Unless you can tell from these photos or not. I can enlarge it if needed. But, uh, yeah, I just took some random clips of it while I was there. C52 allows you to side. Is it, um... No, that's the... So this is the intake side, right? Because that's, that's the speedometer cable. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it... I don't see any. It's a... There's an S series. I don't know. It's definitely it's definitely not an S. There's no way. The MR2s came with C transmissions. Again, I just don't know. I'd have to I'd have to look at it, or I'd have to ask my dad. Honestly, I just don't really know. I don't know what this because it should have the starter. The starter gear. Well, if anyone knows uh, from these pictures, let me know. Cause I can't, I don't, I don't really know what I'm looking for. Cause I don't even really see, I must not cause I don't really see where the starter would go. Hmm. Anyways, um, we have a very important chat that I got to reply to right now. So how is Jollibee? <laughs> how was it? Did it live up to your expectations? For those of you that don't know, uh, Jollibee is a Filipino fast food chain. It's like a Filipino Mc McDonald's. Yeah, Filipino, Filipino McDonald's. Oh, look, what's really funny too is the MR2, the spare parts that came with a spare <laughs> exhaust pipe. <laughs> Great. Could have used one of those. Though I think, um, I think this is the Mark 1A one, so I don't think it actually would have worked in mine, but... It's kind of funny. Hello, what's going on here? Why is this so orange? Weird. Why is this so? I'll fix that one later. It was okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, I've only had it a couple times, so I don't really, I don't remember it being like super crazy. It's more just kind of novel, you know? <laughs> if anything, for me, it's more just like a novelty that's like a Filipino fast food place. It's expensive, though. I don't, yeah, I don't remember how much I paid when I went. I've only gone the, because I went in the Philippines. Um, so, you know, it was like, I didn't really, I think, I think it was probably cheap in the Philippines, but you know, it makes sense. It's the freaking Philippines. Everything's cheap. Here, I need to mark this. Sorry. It's already 9.30. That's crazy. I might have to go soon. <laughs> oh, man. The, the streams just fly by, man. Has it really been an hour and a half? I feel like we're having such a good time, though. One sec. Let me 
check on something. Yeah, I mean, obviously everything in the Philippines is more, is cheaper. <sighs> but yeah, that's crazy. Four bucks for a, a fast food burger. Oh. All right, one second. I'm going to pause real fast and then uh, I'll be back in a sec. Sorry about that. 5,000 euro Mark One A MR2 with sunroof. Yeah, dude, that's why you always just have to, it's really hard to um, save up for a car when you don't you know, know when it's gonna pop up. That's what my dad does, dude. That's how he got this steal of a MR2. What's my Instagram? I think it's linked in the description of the stream. But if not, it's just Joshua Greenwalt. But again, I, I just checked the description. You should probably find it there. Oh, look, there's also the MR2 came with extra exhaust mounts, which, you know, I paid like 50 bucks for these things. So that's great. It's great to have a have it when I don't even need it anymore. What do I do outside of YouTube? Like, uh, what do you mean, like work-wise or like, uh, or just for fun? Or like school? <laughs> it's a lot, there's a lot. It's a very open-ended question, but I am down to answer it.
Oh, Will, I see you sent me a photo. I'm assuming that's for the, um, for the, uh, transmission. I'll, I'll check that out after stream, though. We'll chat about that, because I do need to figure that out. Yeah, I'm really glad to have, like, that's the nice thing about doing this series is, um, it's, I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm just connecting with more like MR2 experts <laughs> versus like, I don't know, I, you know, you gotta, when you have these old cars, you kind of need like a community of people to keep them alive because there's a, there's a lot to know and they're, you know, if a car doesn't have the uh, popularity that it uh, needs, you know, it's really hard to work on these things. You just don't really know. Work-wise, yeah, so I, um, right now, I'm, I'm actually finishing school right now. I'm in my last quarter. I'm uh, going to school up here in Bellingham, doing computer science. Um, it's very difficult. Sorry, <laughs> I was just thinking about how hard it is. <laughs> but it's very difficult, um, but you know, I'm, I'm almost done. What can, honestly, I'm kind of just at the point, like what can stop me now? Like I'm, I'm literally graduating this quarter. So I'm hoping once I graduate, I'll have more time to do more video stuff because that's kind of why, um, again, I don't know how long you guys have been following my channel. I know a lot of people have come from the MR2 stuff, but um, before I did MR2 stuff, I actually made like really high quality, <laughs> like uh, more like review style uh, videos. And, uh, you know, I... But lately I've been doing more MR2 like vlog stuff just because it's like easier to make while I'm in school because it's like, um, you know, it takes a lot of time to make like these other videos. But anyways, I'm wrapping it up so hopefully we'll be done soon and uh, I'll have more free time and more, more funds to do stuff. But I don't know. We'll see. Honestly, the idea of getting a CS job kind of kind of scares me. It's uh, if it's anything like the school, it's uh, gonna be very very hard. <laughs> so I don't know if I could, I'd just do YouTube. But obviously, uh, we're not we're not there yet. We're not there quite yet. Maybe someday though. Maybe someday. Honestly, I feel like I'm getting closer every day though. It's like the amount of the amount of like donations and Patreon and like um, even just ad revenue now. It's inspiring all right I gotta catch up on chat uh, yeah man managing school well because the other thing is I gotta freaking work too so what I do for work is um I used to actually um I used to um by the way does anyone know what this is it was in the parts but I don't recognize I don't recognize what that is it doesn't look stock and I, I just don't know what that is. But anyways. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, cause, so I have to balance. That's why it's, it's, it's really hard to get these videos out like on a consistent time. Because it's just like, you know, I, I have to do school stuff. And then I have to work. And then I have to like pay my rent and like food and stuff. And then, and then I get to do video stuff. And that's why, you know, working on the MR2 is even harder because it's like, you know, this, cars just suck up all your money. Even with my budget build, you know, where I'm doing everything myself, it still sucks up just all my money. But, you know, it's it's worth it. And I do it for fun. But, you know, if I could, I'd just do videos all day long. But, uh, you know, we're, we're slowly getting there. Because I... Um, yeah, I enjoy making the MR2 videos, but you know, they they aren't realistically a side project cuz I I do want to do more like cinematics and like reviews and stuff, but uh I am very happy doing the MR2 series. It's it's just funny cuz I I started it as a side thing to do cuz I can easily do it versus my other stuff like which takes a lot of time and effort. Um the MR2 stuff I can just do like really you know, I'm already working on the car, so it's like, why not film it? And it's funny, it started off as like this very casual side series, and I feel like it's like what most people think of when they think of my YouTube nowadays. It's just kind of funny how that, how that came to be. But I'm not really, you know, I'm not going to really 
get mad about that. It's it's still I feel like more quality than um, more quality than I don't know other a good majority of other YouTube videos. <laughs> so you know even though it is more casual, looks like a dryer for airlines, like a compressor. Okay, yeah okay, yeah I just don't know I don't really know much about because it, it again it doesn't look stock and. I tried to read the labels on it, but I couldn't really figure it out. I don't know where it'd go, but it was in the pile with all this stuff. Where it's a, it was in a box with all the kind of random engine accessories. Got a little spare Tevis here. I think we have a intake somewhere as well, but I couldn't find it today. Funny, I want to buy new spark plugs. Should I just try using these ones first? <laughs> or spark plug wires, but these ones are probably worse. Moisture release on bottom. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I've I've essentially color graded all the shots, so I guess I got done what I needed to tonight. If anyone wants to just chat about stuff for the, I'll probably wrap this up soon. It's because it's so crazy this thing went on for so long. But if anyone wants to chat about anything else before I head out, I'm down. Yeah, see, I want to, with this engine, I'm just trying to decide, do I take it apart now and just kind of throw it in with the MR2 series just as like, random bits as I work on it, or do I just wait until I can afford it? And then do like this separate series of rebuilding the engine. Um, Cause I feel like it, that'd be a really good video series of just like how to rebuild a 4AGE, you know? Um, Because, you know, there's, I feel like as I've been looking into engine rebuilds, I really haven't found any, any, um, I haven't found any, like, quality, any, like, real quality, like, guides, or at least the ones that are, like, well shot um, for taking these kinds of engines apart and rebuilding them. Like, there are videos of people rebuilding engines, but nothing, like, that's, like, particularly well done, you know? Or even like cohesive, you know, like they'll do like parts, random parts, but it's not like they have a full step by step. So I don't know. It could be a really good, good series, but I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Take the head apart. Yeah, I mean, because yeah, I kind of want to. I don't know, I do want to like take it all apart and just inspect all the pieces and see what the damage is looking like. But uh, again, I, I almost just want to like save it for, for when I can afford to do like a full, full overhaul and then, you know, start the series there. But I don't know. We have like a snowstorm here and we live next to the forest in the field. So winds just go burr. Yesterday had to do three shifts of snow <laughs> Dang, man, that's rough. <laughs> we actually, um, it'll be really funny. Um, so in Bellingham, you know, we get like a normal amount of snow, but down in Darrington, it's so weird because Darrington, it's like an hour and a half um, from where I live, but it's just the weather there. It, again, Darrington's where we have the garage. The weather in Darrington is just always worse. It's always rainier. It's always colder. It's always windier. It's just always, no matter what, just worse. So, so um, when it, when we start hitting like deep winter, the snow there just gets insane. Like they have to um, plow all the streets, and there's just like mountains of like snow on the sides of the road. So it'll be really funny um, when we hit snow season. Um, driving them R2 through town and you guys will just see what the heck I'm talking about because it's it's really something else like it's it's insane how much snow they get um compared to like you know where I live just an hour and a half away 
Yeah, Riley, it, it would be cool to do a series. I'm just, I'm just trying to decide how I want to do it, you know. Do I want to make it more like a casual vlog like the MR2 series has been, or do I want to make it a more like formal, well-produced, like step-by-step -step guide, you know? I don't know. I don't know what would be more uh, beneficial and entertaining. I mean, obviously, you know, I wouldn't make it like a school lecture. It'd be more like a, it would still be entertaining, but it'd be more like, it'd be more like detailed and like, this is how you do this, this is how you do this, you know, versus, it'd be like an order and everything. I don't know. So I, I just don't really know. I don't really know. Would the AW11 be able to handle driving in the winter in Minnesota? I've never been to Minnesota, but if you have a lot of snow on the road, I would I would strongly <laughs> advise against it. Especially even if you guys just have salt on your roads. Salt is like... I think rust is like the number one killer of MR2s. So even if you don't uh, wreck the car from, um, if you don't wreck the car from, you know, losing traction in snow, you'd probably uh, wreck the car from all the salt <laughs> getting stuck in your uh, side skirts and rusting away the body. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm kind of honestly debating what I do when they start salting the roads around here. Might just have to keep spraying them or something, I don't know. More instructional, yeah. Honestly, if I had like, again, I need to save up like freaking at least like one to 2,000 worst case for the rebuild, but if I had like a real budget, I'd do like a, um, I'd build like a set and like actually film this like really professionally and make it like um make it look like a, a like retro video or something like a kind of like a like kind of I don't really know <laughs> I'd make it look like a really aesthetically pleasing retro video kind of like my other videos I guess but yeah yeah they they salt the roads here when it gets snowy, but the thing is in Washington, it's not like snowy every year. We usually get a little bit of snow, but it's not like it's like a ton. But I can imagine Finland has a way more snow than us. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just so funny because I, I did not expect to get an engine so soon, and now that we have one, it's like, I can't stop thinking about it, you know? It's like it's just in my head all day long. I'm just like, ah, oh, what do I do with this thing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was thinking it would be a while before I got one. That's why I was kind of like, ah, oh, you know, we'll get to it when we get to it. But now that I have one, it's like, frick, what do I, am I gonna, what am I gonna do? It's just so cool. I don't know. I should probably focus on other things first. I also need to write some music. I guess I could have been doing that this stream too. I gotta write more music for this video. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna start doing music now. It's almost almost time to go anyways. I'm missing anything else. Let's see here. I think I need I guess I have these shots too. You have an extra engine, Ivan? Is it a seven rib or a three rib? I'd, I'd consider, well, okay, we already have an engine. I guess I don't only buy it, but I'd consider, um, well, I don't know. If it's a good deal, I'd consider buying it. <laughs> I, have th I have three engines sitting around. <laughs> Is it, yeah, let me know if it's, if it's a seven or three rib. Ivan's actually, um, we've been chatting a bit. He's in Seattle. He has an MR2 as well. He's actually friends with the last owner of my MR2. <laughs> Which is hilarious that we've linked up. <laughs> it's come full circle. I was going to talk about it on a different, on a video, but you know, might as well mention it now. <laughs> this is funny. It's kind of, it's kind of actually nice to 
because he actually has more information about the car that I didn't know about. Do a little prelude for the engine series thing like compression test. Um, do you mean a compression test on my engine or a compression test on this engine? Because, um, again, my engine, so my engine um, runs fine, you know, it runs great, but it burns, like, a, a ton of oil. Like, it's, like, an unhealthy amount of oil it's burning. So, you know, we're going to do a compression test um, when I change my spark plug soon. And then that'll determine, okay, is it the piston rings, which means I need to do a full rebuild, or is it just the valve stem seals, which means, okay, you know, you only need to take apart half the engine, but you can leave it, you can leave it in the bay is the main difference. You know, it's, it's like a, a day, it's like a weekend's work versus, you know, taking out the engine and stuff. Now, if it is the piston rings, then a full rebuild's necessary. So if that's the case, I'm going to leave the engine in the car because, you know, it runs fine. But then we'd rebuild this one, but, um, and then swap it in, you know, but again, the thing is though it burns a ton of oil and if an engine rebuild is in place at the end of the day, the car still runs. It's not very healthy, but it runs. And there are just other things the car needs before a rebuild, especially because a rebuild's like very expensive, <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why it's kind of like, um, you know, it's kind of hard. And as for testing the compression on this one, this one's actually seized. So, <laughs> so we can't, we can't actually turn it. We have to um, take it apart to unseize it anyway. So, you know, this thing, this thing for sure needs a, a rebuild. It's more, uh, it's more like, you know, it, it's going to need a rebuild. <laughs> There's no getting around this one. Um, but yeah, I think it'd be cool though when I rebuild it, you know, just clean the whole thing up. Cause it's all like, you know, super gunky, clean it up, paint everything and make it like, I don't know. It could be really cool to do like, you know, the heads will be like red. We do like white fonts. We could do this like middle part to be white. So it's got like a stripe going through it. And then, um, and then, you know, we could paint the block or something too. Just clean it off all really nice. And then, um, And yeah, if I have like, if I happen to have spare money somehow, we could get some performance parts like, you know, um, lightweight pulleys and stuff like that. Delete the AC. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, I do actually like having an AC, <laughs> but the one thing that is very annoying about it is, um, I'm trying to see if there's a shot of it. When I did my, I mentioned this in the video when I did it, but it, when I did my um, engine, when I did my coolant flush, um, the drain plug for draining the, the engine block of coolant is like behind the AC. So it's like impossible to get to with the air conditioning in the way. So, uh, I will say I would consider deleting it for that, but I do, I do love my, I, I don't know, man, I need air conditioning. It is a T top though. So I guess, you know, I guess we couldn't get away with it. <laughs> But I do love air conditioning. <laughs> what would be really cool is to um, rebuild this engine, swap it into the car, and then uh, once with the other engine that's in the car, um, maybe by then I'll be like a famous YouTuber and have like a lot of money. <laughs> And then I can rebuild that engine and turbo it or something, and then swap it back in. <laughs> that that would be that way. We have two series. We have um, we have a, a series on how to do a normal rebuild, and then we have another series how to do a rebuild plus a turbo. You know, I think that could be a <laughs> that would be a hit. I think I think that would definitely be a hit on YouTube. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't know that. That'll happen anytime soon. <sighs> yeah, air conditioning is very nice. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I agree. It's definitely, it's definitely one of those things. AC is definitely one of those things. Uh, it has a very heavy pro and con. 
But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe, okay, okay. I'll, I'll work with you, Will. Here's what we're going to do. We'll keep the AC on the normal on this rebuild, okay? You know, so that way it remains how it is. But then on the turbo rebuild, when we do the turbo swap, then we'll remove the AC from that engine, okay? Does that sound like a fair deal to you? That way we have a little bit of both. <laughs> so the turbo version will be more performance, you know, we don't have an AC. <laughs> Maybe we can have the AC be turbo powered instead though. I do find it weird that it's missing this cover here because I don't, I didn't know this thing even came off. Like I almost wonder, I don't know. I didn't know that this little plate came off so I don't know where it, it might be in one of the boxes but I don't really know. All right, I'm gonna head out. It's almost 10. I can't believe these streams go by so quick. Maybe I'll do a nursery player this week doing music. But this video should be up, uh, I don't know, sometime this week. Hoping I can finish it tomorrow. I It kind of depends if I decide to do uh, a new music track or not. I'm getting a little sick of... Uh, I'm getting a little sick of... Uh, hearing the same five music tracks over and over in these videos. So I probably should write a new one, but we'll see. Okay, uh, I'm heading out. Uh, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, if you have any last second things, let me know. I'll reply to them. We'll hang around for another minute, then I'm gonna go. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you again, Will, for the donation. That was very generous. I will have to give you a big shout out next video as you pay for my uh, new ignition parts. Or anything else? I don't think so. All right, and out. See you guys. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, if you have any uh, uh, further questions or anything, you can DM me on Instagram. Or uh, if you have any parts you want to sell or give away, please DM me on Instagram as well. <laughs> I'll gladly accept them. I know we talked about. Some people uh, having engines they don't need. So if you have spare engines, I will I will hand pick them up. <laughs> All right, see you guys.